calabar of the festival and the sticks. The Armed Forces Remembrance Day ceremony, uh, which we are going to go tomorrow, today we just finished the church service, uh, celebrated globally, like you know, you know already. Uh, usually it was, it was celebrated in the event of the Empire every year to commemorate the uh, World War, end of the World War. And now we're going to be, Nigeria will now change it to January 15th to commemorate the end of the uh, the long and short of the Air Force. Uh, so those in service and those retired. First, uh, my colleagues in service, uh, I want to encourage everybody to continue to support the uh, exam commander in chief to get driving his vision of revamping Nigeria. Security-wise particularly, um, we should extract all forms of indiscipline and unhealthy uh, attitude so that we can drive so that without security, nothing moves in, in anywhere. Education will move, agriculture will move. Even science and technology will not move, nothing will move. That's security. So it's security seems to be number one. You know, so everybody, all has to be on board. For those who have retired and uh, joined, come, come back to the uh, regular uh, civil society. I encourage them to be our, our ambassadors. They should also help us with uh, intelligence. Encourage people within their localities to give uh, free information to the, the military and other security agencies to help secure Nigeria better. God is the beginning of all their successes, all their services, all their sacrifices in terms of uh, territorial and uh, boundary defense and protection. So we thank God and we say congratulations to the Nigerian people. celebration to uh, remember our fallen hero. It is very important. And I thought I want to give the governor kudos for not allowing to fall behind. In spite of the the case and the courts, we see the program we followed by the state government. I want to say for our quality hero, I want to say that she was a perfect, perfect beast. Mm -hmm. I want for the family they left behind. I pray that the almighty was around the 42 with their daily burden and loss, or losses as the case may be. Then for the seven military men, my prayer for them is that the almighty was to sustain them. I want to call on the government to accord them all everything, just all that there's everything about for them to be, to, to be comfortable in that uniform they are wearing. But it's not it's not easy. It requires a lot of sacrifice for you to serve in the armed forces. We know we know what I've what been doing. And for Kosovo State, I want to say kudos to the armed forces for the relative peace we are enjoying. Then again, I will not fail to, uh, to update once again our dear Governor His Excellency, the President too, for the victory, the enormous victory we secured at the Supreme Court on the 12th of uh, January 2024. Since that, uh, that date will remain indelible in my mind, mm -hmm. that 12th of January. In fact, the person was there, was also celebrating that day statewide, 12th of January. Uh, it remains a day of uh, faith.